So this is just gonna be a little bit of a hug, just a little hug around your tummy to hold everything in. Of course, you can see. my channel. I'm Netta Manley. I help women just like you, women over 40, really feel confident in their style again and learn to have fun with fashion. Maybe for the first time, maybe again. Um, but if you are here, I hope that I can encourage you to try something new with your style and feel beautiful and confident in your clothes again. So today I want to talk about something that affects most of us at one point or another in our lives. And if you're over 40 or over 50, I just turned 50, this is something that's probably uh, a daily uh, challenge for you. I know it is for me. Once I hit menopause, this part of my body just kind of changed. So we're going to talk about taming your tummy. I know that I'm slim and regardless of your body type and regardless of your, your size, uh, we all have similar challenges when it comes to a tummy area. So it might be a matter of degrees, but a tummy can challenge a slim woman and it can challenge a plus size woman. It's just a part of your body taking center stage that you would rather not point out to the world, right? So I'm going to show you examples of how this can work for all body types and all sizes. So let's get started. I can't wait to talk about this because like I said, this is near and dear to my heart, and I use these strategies every single day on myself um, to just look leaner and slimmer and feel more confident in my clothes. So the very first tip I want to share with you is to consider ruching. Ruching is my BFF. Look at this. This dress is ruched. Look at all the gathering here on the front. And what it does is it just... First of all, it creates a little bit of extra fabric there. So you can't really see where your body stops and the fabric starts super super flattering but it also that gathering and draping there really camouflages if you've got like a minimal tummy like i do here and like i said my tummy changes i've mentioned this in previous videos but my tummy changes throughout the day and there are days when my tummy is like kind of obvious and there are other days when it feels pretty good and looks pretty good today i'm having a pretty good tummy day so it's just minimal here but this whether my tummy was really pooching out or not it's so so flattering and it really does downplay this whole part of my body so i love that detail and i feel like it's a confidence booster there are clothes that i would not consider wearing if they did not have this ruching detail because for example this dress it's a knit dress it's fitted and this could be hard to wear if it was not for this really flattering detail that they chose to put on the front of the dress so love that it allows you to wear silhouettes that you might consider a little tricky otherwise i'm going to show you a couple of examples from my own closet of some dresses that have ruching that i absolutely love and that are my go-to's and these are great to reach for on days when you just want it to be easy and comfortable and at the same time you really want to look cute and we want to look cute every day don't we so i'm going to show you my favorites this is from bailey 44 i think it's called the l'artiste like artist french artiste dress and it's got this ruching and, and this in this case it's on the side not down the middle and usually that's where you're going to find it is it's kind of unusual to have it down the middle i think but on the side you'll see that a lot um this extra fabric here and this drapiness so so magical it just it just does all the right things and I, I just love this dress for so many reasons it's really comfortable it's lightweight it's easy to wear it's self-lined you don't have to wear worry about what you're wearing underneath it you don't have to wear special undergarments and it just minimizes a tummy dramatically even more so than this dress so this is this is amazing i'll show you another one this dress is from a brand called red haut h-a-u-t um it's got ruching on both sides this time so and again that extra layer of fabric which is key i think to having those ruching styles that are really flattering because you're creating extra extra give in your clothes and nothing is clinging or pulling over the the lumps and bumps so love this dress um and this extra detail and you can see it's just draped all the way just super super flattering and really really easy to wear really comfortable a great choice for summer when you want to flatter your tummy so regardless of your tummy bulge size there's no nice way to say tummy bulge right like there's just no nice way to say it. regardless of that size uh having that ruching detail is going to be uh really flattering on on every single woman i've never met a woman that 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 does not work for um okay so that's my first tip look for ruching the second tip is to avoid tight knits there are times when we're probably going to want to wear something tight all over our bodies. You're going to be really, you're going to want to be really strategic when you are choosing a tight knit 
dress, for example. You want to go with a darker fabric, you want to go with something thicker, and you want to consider shapewear, which I'll get to in a minute. But in general, I avoid tight knits whenever possible, but especially tight knits that are light and especially tight knits that are white. So I'm going to show you a little clip of myself here wearing a tight knit dress that I honestly, I just, I just don't wear the dress because it's just too much work. Um, I have to worry about the underwear I'm wearing underneath it. I have to suck my tummy in. I can't eat. I can't breathe. I can't drink water. <laughs> like I can't do anything without everything showing right away. And as you can see, whether you have a little tummy bulge or a lot, a dress like this is really going to be hard to pull off. Um, it does show a lot. And again, the lighter the color, the thinner the fabric, the trickier the dress is to wear. So avoid tight knits if possible, or be very strategic about choosing them. Okay, the next tip, and you know I talk about this all the time. If you've ever watched any of my videos, I'm so obsessed with peplums. So it's consider a peplum. A peplum, thank goodness they're still in style. I hope they never go out of style because nothing hides a tummy better than a peplum. It's like a skirt. A little skirt that you wear around your, your waist. And if the peplum hits right above where your tummy starts protruding, then you're going to feel like you have no tummy. It's just magic. So the, the key is to find a, a peplum where the wider part just starts just at your tummy bulge area. And where it's narrow and fitted, for the most part, if it's a, if it's a, a structured peplum or a fitted peplum, then the, the, the narrowest part of your waist right there is going to be highlighted. Your waist is going to look teeny tiny. Your stomach is going to disappear. It's just magical. So I'm showing a clip of my absolute favorite peplum top. It's a top by a brand called Noir, and it's from Le Tote. It came in a subscription box. They don't have it all the time, and I can't get it again, and I love, love, love this top. So believe it or not, I'm having the very sweet lady who's a good friend of mine who does my alterations for me. She's making it for me in a couple of other colors because I can't sew, and I want it so badly. But it, this is a game-changing top. It's a really thick, ponte knit material. Is it ponte or pont or ponte? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a really thick knit material really, really flattering. It checks all the boxes for me, the color and the silhouette, all the details. I just love it. So I wanted this top in a couple of other colors. So that's how amazing this top is on my body type. So find that peplum for you that really just minimizes your tummy and makes everything play together so much nicer. So I'm going to show you a couple of other peplum styles. So right there on the mannequin in the back, that's like a cami peplum. And you can see it's got like it goes in like this and then it's got a couple of ruffles and this asymmetrical detail down here really really flattering and you really can't tell where the tummy is what's going on down there it just it's just a cute look but with something like that because it's so drapey i would wear it with like a slimmer bottom because if you wear something drapey like that and then you wore a looser pant it's going to be a little bit less flattering but it really minimizes the tummy beautifully I'm going to show you another peplum here. This is a lacy one, a little less structured and a little less fitted than the one I was wearing in the clip, but it's got that detail right at the waist and then the peplum that comes over the tummy area. So really, really flattering. Ann Taylor Loft has some great peplum tops right now, and uh, you can find them. Just Google peplum and you'll see so many um, different silhouettes and different styles and different colors and different iterations of a peplum top. So consider a peplum top or a peplum dress. If you want to do a tight knit, add a peplum and it'll be a lot more flattering. I promise. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is to try a front tuck. A front tuck sometimes called a French tuck, is something I discovered. I was a little late to the party with French tucks because I'm short-waisted and this has always been my trouble zone. And so I always avoided tucking my tops. But what I noticed that is that there were tops that are kind of longer or looser and they just swallowed me up. At 5'2", I can't wear something really long and really drapey very well without looking shapeless. And so I noticed that there were some tops that just needed a little extra. So I experimented with belting and knotting and tying and doing all these different things. But for me, and those were all great options, but for me, the front tuck was really the easiest and fastest solution. So basically, you're taking a little bit of the front of your shirt, and it, it should not look super studied. It should not look super planned or uh, intentional. It should almost look like you had your shirt tucked in and then maybe it came untucked a little. So this is a, a, a more relaxed style, but you basically just tuck the very front of your shirt in to a fitted 
waistband of your jeans, your pants, whatever you're wearing, your skirt. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here. So I'm wearing a drapey top and uh, jeans. And so I tuck the top in and then the rest of the top is free to hang and be a little looser here. And what that does is that minimizes any, any area that you may have around here, but it shows that you have a waist. It reminds everybody that there's a waistline there and it's just kind of a cool look. So it's something to try. I'll show a couple of examples in the description box below um, with some links that show you how different women wear it because I just think it's such a great strategy to try, especially with um, jeans and pants that have more fitted waistlines. Okay, so speaking of jeans, that's my next tip. Consider high-waisted jeans. So because again, I'm short-waisted and because I don't love my tummy, I, I avoided high-waisted pants for a really long time. And I was at a denim sale last summer and I happened to grab, accidentally grab a pair of high-waisted jeans and found that they were amazing. So what these jeans, and I'll show you what they look like here, what these jeans did for my tummy was that it acted like, kind of like I was wearing shapewear. Jeans held everything in, gave me that illusion of having this flat tummy. And what I realized is you don't have to show the very top of your, your, your waistband of your jeans. I generally don't anyway. I generally will have a top that comes and, and hides part of that waistband. So if you, like me, are struggling with being a little short-waisted and know that a high-waisted pant is not always your best silhouette, then get the high-waisted for the tummy control and just wear a shirt down that comes down over it. Easy way to cheat with the high-waisted pants and get that flattery of that long lean line not having a muffin top that comes out over my jeans all the time which has always been a challenge um, and just having that nice long line in your waist and that nice slim line through your waist and at the same time uh, having the flattery of wearing a top over it so that you don't look as short-waisted so for those of you who have that challenge like I do it's a great trip tip to try. Another thing with denim is to look for the jeans that have shapewear built in. There are a lot of brands that do this. I'll share a couple of my favorites in the description box below, but there's a company called Wit and Wisdom. Um, their pants and jeans are called Ab Solution. So they're amazing. They suck everything in. They they really hold that tummy in and they're super, super comfortable. They also happen to be really, really affordable and they have some great trendy silhouettes right now. So I'll share a couple of my favorites below. So jeans that are either high-waisted or pants that are high-waisted and pants that have shapewear built in are magical for toning and taming your tummy. The next thing I want to share in terms of tips is to consider shapewear. Shapewear is your friend. I honestly think if I lived in a cooler climate, I would wear some of the newer, more comfortable shapewear that's out right now pretty much every day. I live in Florida, so I would go for the ruching or the draping or one of these other strategies in the summer over shapewear any day of the week because I'm not going to add an additional layer. But when it gets a little cooler out, shapewear really becomes a game changer. I'm gonna show you um, my yummy cami that I'm sneaking on underneath the top um, and how great a silhouette it, it creates. Just having that extra layer of fabric that's a, kind of a slippery fabric, your clothes will drape and hang nicely on over, over that fabric, it makes everything slim and toned and smooth. So with shapewear, there are lots of different levels of control. And I'm, I'm going to do a shapewear video so I can get into this a little bit more because I do have some favorites and some recommendations. I'll also share my uh, catalog with all of these items below. But shapewear uh, camis are one of the easiest solutions for the tummy bulge area. They're lighter. They can be really, really comfortable. They can be a great everyday solution. And honestly, in cooler months, I think wearing them year round and like or you're wearing them every single day is great for most women. It's just going to give you that really beautiful line. They're easy to wear, they protect your clothes, and they just give you a little added boost of confidence. So you can control the amount of control that you have in your shapewear. They don't all have to be firm control. You want to be able to eat and move and do all the normal things. So this is just gonna be a little bit of a hug, just a little hug around your tummy to hold everything in. Of course you can go firmer, but I wouldn't for every day unless you don't have, com unless comfort is just not a priority for you, but for me it is. So I'll go with just a little, a light control and then firmer control when I'm dressing up or when I want to look, you know, extra special occasions that I want to really, really look my best, but definitely consider shapewear. Also the power panties, the ones that come all the way up, up to 
just below the bust so you don't have that little extra skin coming out of the top. Those are amazing. And again, those are offered in various levels of control so you can pick something that is comfortable and practical to use every single day. My final strategy and one that I talk about a lot is adding a third piece. You guys know how I feel about the third piece. I love having um, an extra element to an outfit that just kind of completes it and ties everything together. That can be a jacket, it can be a boyfriend cardigan, it can be a long vest like the one I'm, I'm wearing here. But adding a, a long drapey piece on the outside, and honestly it can even be a shorter one, but the longer, the longer the line is going to be. So just having that element on the outside of your outfit really gives the illusion that your body is really just the space that's contained within that jacket. So really narrows your silhouette and it's just a magical optical illusion. It also helps hide any um, waist areas, you know, any problem areas that you may be having in your waist if you have back fat, whatever, you know, your, your bum, if you're self-conscious about that, it's just really a great overall flattering look. So consider adding that third piece when it's, you know, seasonally appropriate. It's also really super stylish. It doesn't look like you're hiding something. Instead, it just looks like you've got great style. You're pulled together and you're polished, which of course is what we all want to look like every single day. One final bonus tip before I wrap up this video on taming that tummy area that's so problematic for so many of us um, is to define your waistline. I know this is going to sound a little counterintuitive, but you know, the peplum, the front tuck, some of the other strategies that I talked about in this video are already doing that because as I've mentioned in other videos, wearing something really baggy and really voluminous does not make your tummy or any of the rest of you look slimmer. In, in general, it adds weight and it adds bulk. So defining your waistline in a strategic way is really going to be a flattering technique. There are a lot of dresses and pieces out right now that have gathered waistbands and I'm going to show you a couple so that you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a jumpsuit I wear all the time from Loft. It is so comfortable. It's got um, a gathered waistband here so it's like sewn in two places and it's got this band in the middle of the waist and what is so flattering about this is that the jumpsuit is a little bit drapey it's a little blousey at the top here and a little bit blousey at the bottom and then the waistband there just brings in my waist makes my waist look defined makes the jumpsuit really flattering and not shapeless and uh, really camouflages a tummy beautifully this skirt which is actually from H&M which I love has, I'm going to show you this waistband because it's amazing, it has this stretchy waistband and when this wide stretchy waistband sits over my tummy and then you've got this gathering below it, super super flattering, really just camouflages that tummy area beautifully. J. Crew does a skirt that they call, I think it's the playground skirt. It's a linen skirt with a stretchy waistband like this. It's really, really cute and it's a great alternative in the summertime to shorts if you're not comfortable with shorts. Uh, it's just a lightweight summery skirt that is very similar to this type of silhouette that just has that stretch over the waist and um, that little fabric over the tummy that just makes everything magically disappear. So I hope that was helpful. I know I talked about tummies a lot. If you have any strategies of your own, any tips that you use, um, I know that I didn't even begin to cover all of the tips here, but these are strategies that I use in my everyday life and that I feel are super, super flattering for almost every woman and I've used with clients over the years and have just had great results. So I would love to hear how those different strategies have worked for you. If you've tried these in the past, if they've been effective, if you have any questions about them, definitely share your questions and comments and concerns in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Also love to hear uh, if you want me to do a second video on this and share some more strategies for tummies because as you can tell, I can talk about tummies all day. So love to hear from you about that. Of course, if you like this video, please click the like button 
and I would be so honored if you would subscribe. Uh, there's a little red button to subscribe, and then there's a little bell. If you hit the bell, you'll find out when I upload new videos. I do it every Tuesday and every Friday, and just love having you here. So thank you so much for joining me, staying to the end of this video, and let's talk about tummies in the comments below. Talk to you soon. Bye.